Tales. I'm your host, Alpine Hippodrome. Every one of us has a God-given call on our lives. Sometimes we may wonder how we find out about it. Today, our story follows a young man who illustrated that obedience to the task that God has given us today will lead us to his call on our lives. We are pleased to welcome back Tuppence of Wellington, who, after his contract negotiations, will be directing tonight's performance. Cuddles McClure will be playing the part of Saul. So, without further ado, I bring you Searching for Donkeys, Finding Your Calling, or How God Called Saul to be King. Hi, I'm Cuddles McClure. What? No, no, no. You ought to begin your soliloquy. My what? Your soliloquy? My squeaky toy? Okay. <sighs> no, it is not your squeaky toy. Soliloquy? <sighs> Look, it's a dramatic monologue depicting a current emotional state that you have bottled up inside yourself. Uh, you're, you're revealing your deepest feelings to the audience. You're, you're breaking the fourth wall. What? Oh, no, I didn't know I was breaking something. Am I going to get in trouble? The fourth wall. Look, look, there are three walls on the stage. One, two, three. The fourth wall is the one between you and the audience. The, there's not a wall between me and the audience. If there was a wall there, then how would they be able to see me? You know, it's kind of like that saying, you make a better door than a window, except this is a wall, not a door. It's kind of like, you know, you don't want a door on a submarine. Just speak to the audience. You're telling them a story. Oh, okay, that sounds like fun. So, begin. Okay. Hi, I'm Carlos McClure. But once upon uh, a time, no, there no, was a... No, 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 no. You're lying. You are not Cuddles McClure. <gasps> I'm not? Who am I? All my life I thought I was Cuddles McClure. Your soul, remember? Your soul and you're looking for your father's donkeys. Oh, oh, I remember now. Yeah, that was on that piece of paper you gave me, wasn't it? Yes, of course it was. That was the script and you must perform the soliloquy that was on that script. Okay, okay. Uh, hi, I'm Saul and I have been looking for my father's donkeys. I have not found them anywhere. I have searched high and low, and I could not find them. I have passed through the mountains, and I have passed through the land of what something, and they were not there. And hey, Toppy, what time is it? Uh, what? What, what? What time is it? I was it? just wondering if it's time to go outside and bark. There might be squirrels in the yard. You must continue with the soliloquy. Well, I, I just hope there aren't any squirrels out there. I, we could be in big trouble. Just continue, please. Okay. Uh, oh, so I said to my servant, who is with me? Come, let us return to my father, lest he, um... Uh, this part gets really weird. I never did figure this out. Hey, hey, Toppy, can I go play with my tennis bone? <sighs> no. Look, the, the, the line is, come, let us return to my father lest he cease caring about the donkeys and become worried about us. And my servant said to me, Behold now, there is in this city a man of God, an honorable man, and all that he says surely cometh to pass. So let us go hither, that he may show us the way to go. Yes. Um, oh, okay. <laughs> See, that's the way it's supposed to go. Uh, Cuddles! What are you doing? I'm playing with my tennis ball. <sighs> we are not done with this scene. Please return to your mark and continue with the soliloquy. Uh, hey, Toppy, are you playing my servant? <laughs> Am I? 
saying your servant? Of, well, of course not. What are you talking about? I am the director of this production. Well, how can <clears throat> I do this scene without someone playing my servant? Who am I talking to? It's a soliloquy, a monologue. You are performing by yourself. Remember? The fourth wall? Oh, are you playing the fourth wall? You make a better door than a wall. <sighs> no, there are no other actors. Just you and your performance. Well, what kind of a, a play is just one person performing by himself? <sighs> It's a higher form of performance. You must flow with the emotions of your character. It's lonely up here. Lonely. You're lonely. Why do I put myself through this? Why do I want to direct this theater trooper? What was I thinking? I am disgraced beyond words. I'll be in my trailer. Well, but, but hey, Toppy, hey, Toppy, does, does that mean you're not directing anymore? Hey, maybe you should go out and play with the squirrels. You know, that could be fun. Oh, there, Toppy, there's a wall over there. Hey, you didn't talk about that wall. Is that the fifth wall? I don't know about the fifth wall. Am I supposed to break that one with my submarine? Hey, 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 Carlos, Carlos, did you know, I was walking outside, and, um, you know, I saw Toppins leaving. Is everything okay? Oh, I don't know. He said something about a silky, lee, so, uh, a silk ugly or something, and he left, and... I guess they don't have a director to finish the scene. Hey, you want to direct the rest of the scene? You know how to do that kind of thing? Do I know how to do? Of course I do. Now, where is the script? It's over there. Oh, it's over, it's over here. Oh, there it is. Yeah, it's that one right there. Ah. Okay. Okay, um, are you ready? Yes. Okay, and action. And then my servant and I. Went to see this great man of God, whose name was Samuel, but when Samuel saw me, the Lord spoke to him and said, There he is, the man whom I spoke to you. Surely he shall reign over all of my people. Wait, and wait, wait, wait. Um, um, I, 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 don't, I don't understand this. Um, who, is, who is playing Samuel? Oh, it's an ugly silk. That means that there aren't any actors. Um... An ugly... How do you do a theatrical production without a cast? Well, it's a higher perform a form or something. You see, there's a wall over here we have to break with our submarine. Do you think the submarine has windows? Because I'd like to see the fish. Um, look, look I, I think we just need to finish the scene with both of us. It, it will make more sense. Well, that sounds like fun. Uh, you be Saul and I'll be Samuel. Uh, wait a minute. I, I thought you were Saul. Well, Saul has really boring lines. Huh? Okay, um, I'll be Saul. Um, they see the bad It's over there, then looking at the forest, and, and then, well, okay. It says here that you tell me that my donkeys, um, they have been found, but that you want me to stay with you. Then you tell me that you're anointing me to be king of Israel, and um, uh, well, that's just about it. Um. Do you know, there's not really much of a story here. It's just got all those weird words like uh, cease and uh, behold and... Who wrote this? Oh, I, I think Tuppy wrote it. Well, let's just finish the scene. Go ahead and say your line. Uh, what line? Um, well, do you have to say something about uh, the donkeys being found? Oh, okay. Uh, Samuel said, come and eat with me today and tomorrow you will return to your father, but as for your donkeys, do not be uh, uh, anxious, for they have been found, and on who he cha cha, do you think maybe do I can go outside and play the squirrels? Um, well, do you know, um, Saul doesn't really have any lines here. Um. No, it's a silky queen. There aren't any actors, just five walls and a submarine. Um, do you know, how do you have a scene where Saul does all the talking? But never has any lines. I'm going to go outside and play with the squirrels, okay? <sighs> well, okay. Now, uh, according to the scripts, uh, now it says the next thing that happens is you anoint me to be the kings of Israel. And um, so... Uh, cut. Cuddles? Cut. Cuddles? Aren't you going to finish the scene? Why? Do you, do you know you have to anoint me king? I'm looking forward to that. Samuel anointed Saul to be the first king of Israel. How did Saul find out what God had for him to do? 
He simply did what his father told him to. When we obey our parents, our teachers, and those in authority over us, we are right in the perfect will of God. And when the time comes for him to show us more about what he wants us to do, we will be ready to hear. Thank you for joining us this evening. Until next time, I'm Alpine Hippodrome. 